What's up everybody, Zulai here, and today is a very special day as we bring to you the first ever wrestling video game universe super, 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 super showcase. Let's get right into the action, folks. First up, we have the worldly sophisticated champions of wrestling. They use uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, and they debuted in March of 2019. All right, we got a six-man tag on store for you tonight for our opening contest. We have Link. I wonder if Zelda's around. If Zelda approves of this. Link's new adventure. This is definitely the new adventures of Link for sure. He's fairly new to the WSCW. So we'll see how he fares here with his tag team partners who the world will know more than more than probably almost anybody else on this roster. And you can hear it in the background. It's the Mario Brothers. Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. The Super Mario Brothers, excuse me. These guys are a also new. They debuted the same time Link did over on the WVGU Amino. And ironically, they faced each other in a triple threat match. And uh, Mario came out on top. So we'll see if this affects their tag team continuity here today in this tag team matchup. Six-man tag. And now their opponents. It's Captain Planet! By your powers combined, he is Captain Planet! Whoa, look at the agility of Captain Planet! He is the, uh, he's actually the first ever WSCW uh, World Heavyweight Champion. He uh, recently lost the title. And here's the most famous, the one who started the whole revolution of professional wrestling video games, Starman, from the Black Box NES Pro Wrestling game, the, the man, the myth, the legend, Starman. He's probably the most popular character from that game series, the one game. It's Starman. How could you not love Starman? Getting his charismatic enigma on. Yeah, because he's crazy. Starman's crazy. This roster is very interesting so far, to uh, to say the least, when it comes to colleagues. It's the mask! No, okay, okay, wait. Is it Jim Carrey? Is that what we're... Are we, can we assume that it's, or can we assume that some guy just found the mask at the end of the second mask with Jamie Kennedy? Could it be Jamie Kennedy? God, I hope not. Uh, we may never know. It's the mask. He's using the mask to his advantage coming into the world of professional wrestling. This is going to be a sight to see here. This six bad tag is going to be definitely something different. The music fits him all too well, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Oh, swinging neck breaker early by Captain Planet. Oh, wait, this is, what is this? Link posing. Is this no DQ? Oh, flying forearm by Link. It is no DQ. Okay, I'm liking this. They didn't say that. Oh, he hit him in the shoulder. I know that pain. Oh, right hand. Ooh, nice spinning wheel kick out of that uh, reversal there. Spinning leg drop. Captain, or Captain Planet's taking a beating right now by Link. 
Ooh, takedown. Go around. Link showing he's got a little wrestling skill. I wonder who trained Link. Oh, and he spikes him with the DDT. Captain Planet could be out. This could be over quick. Oh, only one count. We're not going to keep Captain Planet down like that. Captain Planet mounts a comeback. Side headlock. Russian leg sweep. Oh, Captain Planet going back for the sledgehammer. Oh, Link steals it. Oh, there was a setup for a flying clothesline. Ooh, it comes Starman. The tag. Ooh, Link seen it coming. Couple back elbows. Oof. Link trying to go to work. Starman. Oh, he's got the arm. Armbar DDT. Ooh, a spinning leg drop of his own. Old school race the back. Nice. Y'all love that old school. Oh, the mask held Link for Starman. Starman cracked him in the gut with the sledgehammer. For three guys that have never teamed together, they're actually doing pretty good. Oh, what a DDT of his own. Oh, small package. Out of nowhere. No, not even a one count. Starbad going to work. Fighting back. Irish whip into the quarter. Oh, here comes the tag. Here comes Captain Planet. Double hip toss. Double elbow. Double nip up. And a knee drop. Nice teamwork there by Starman and Captain Planet. Ooh, reverses the Irish whip. Run in. Uh oh, wait a minute. Hot tag. Oh, Luigi nails Captain Planet. Where'd the mask go? Starman gets dropped off the apron. What is this? The warm zone. He hit the warm zone. Oh, Link's in there. He just nailed the mask and, and Starman. And Luigi gets a three count on the former heavyweight champion. What a matchup. The Super Mario Brothers and Link come out on top over Captain Planet, Starman, and the Mask. For uh, for more WSCW action, tune in to the WVGU YouTube channel and the WVGU Amino. What a match. That was completely one-sided, it seemed like. Luigi came in and just cleaned house after Link did all the work. Mario didn't even get in the ring. All right, now let's go on to the next matchup, and it's from New Extremes Wrestling, as we have a Triple Threat Extreme Rules match featuring three of the top stars of New Extremes Wrestling. You can find them on Twitter. You can find them in our Discord group, the WVGU. Kobayashi, he's a two-year pro in New Extremes Wrestling. He's been there for two years, and he's a former European and former television champion. I like the, uh, I like the jacket. Now, does he wear the mask when he wrestles, or is it just for entrance? We shall see. Kobayashi. And it's just for the ring entrance. Nice. All right, coming up next. And his opponent, first, from Edinburgh, Scotland, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bruce Brown. The big old Bruce. 
how big this boy is. Big old Bruce. Ready for action. He's almost been in New Extremes Wrestling for a year. He is a two-time United Kingdom champion. And he also holds the record for the longest run and longest commutative time as champion. Big old Bruce, he's a hoss looking son of a gun. Does that say on the back of his jacket? Does it say spine breaker? I believe that's a spine breaker. It does say spine breaker. Nice. You get some hard hitting back breakers and some spine busters from this man tonight. I hope so. Can't wait to see this matchup. This is already intriguing me. Kobayashi looked impressive coming out to the ring. Bruce just is a hoss of a man. Look at him. Look at him. Big old hoss boy. I'm going to throw some blows. Ooh. Lights go out. Oh, nice. We got some lasers. Is it Mae Young's hand? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> he looks like a... Like he's from a war zone. Now, uh, Daryl Graves is a over three year veteran here in New Extreme Wrestling, so he definitely has the most experience out of these three. He is a former world and intercontinental champion, so he's also held the two biggest belts. So he's definitely been around, and he's been around big high profile matches like these. But we shall see how he fares against the up-and-comer Bruce Brown and the established Kobayashi as the grizzled veteran Daryl Graves. All right, Kobayashi, Bruce Brown, and Daryl Graves. Ooh, I like the face paint. And there's the bell. Woo! Double chop. Forearm. Nope. Ooh, kick to the gut. Bruce is just hanging back. Oh, drop kick by Kobayashi. Oh, he goes right over to Bruce. Bruce doesn't even see a stop suplex. Nice. Ooh, kick to the back. Kobayashi's on fire right now. Bulldog. He's taking out. Oh, he stomped the mat. Oh, and he got kicked in the head for it. Ooh, leg lace lariat. Nice. Daryl with a nice move. Oh, Bruce moves. Big old Bruce. Oh, here we go. Oh, high angled back suplex. Look at that. Oh, that chop did nothing. That, oh, that chop did something. Oh, wait, what? Front face zigzag. There, we'll call it that. DDT. I don't really know. I don't mean. Yeah, let's call it a front face zigzag. There you go. Oh, Bruce. Big old Bruce. Fisherman suplex. Nice. Kobayashi powders out. Probably a smart move by Kobayashi. Oh, big old shoulder block down coach Daryl. Bruce. Showing his strength. Look at him. He's picked him up from the ground. Gunt wrench. Nice gunt wrench. Kobayashi back in there. Oh, some right hands. Down goes big old Bruce. Bruce back up. Oh, a shoulder block. Not having it. Bruce is exerting his power right here. Oh, jawbreaker by Kobayashi. He's not having it. Chop in the corner. Kick. Uh-oh. Oh, where's Kobayashi taking him? Tornado DDT. He took Bruce to Tornado Town. Woo! Oh, a forearm. Oh, another forearm. Daryl fighting back. And another lariat. He knows how to use those feet. He's got them educated feet, you could so to say. Where's he going? extreme rules and he's finally got out some plunder he got some plunder baby he got it what is he wait what is was that the fake out oh it didn't work because bruce nailed him from behind oh they're now it's a three-way brawl it's a three-way brawl bruce daryl going back and forth kobayashi sliding some punches in there 
Oh, down goes Kid Daryl. Bruce is not having it. Shoulder block. Huge shoulder block by Bruce. Back face hit and Kobayashi in the back with that kendo stick. Bruce says, I don't need no weapon to defeat you guys. Oh, he's going for the cover, though. After he just used the weapon. Kick out by Kobe. Oh, that was like a knee in the back of the head. Oh, trouble in paradise. Kobayashi's got Daryl. What's going to happen here? Nothing. Standoff. Ooh, forearms. Fireman scary takeover. Nice takedown. Real quick takedown. Daryl, or Bruce is out. Daryl's in trouble. High angle back suplex again. Chop. Down goes, uh, Daryl rolls out of the ring. Bruce reverses it. Oh, nope. Kobayashi reverses that. Kick to the gut. Cross arm breaker. Oh, into a backstabber. Nice. Oh, but Bruce says, no, not today. Knee lifts him. Can't believe Bruce just no-sold that. Oh, backslide bomb. He's going for the cover. Oh, but Daryl's in there just in time to break it up. Oh, but he eats two feet to the face. Shouldn't have been celebrating when nobody, when not everybody was down. Oh, he rolls out of that. Oh, Bruce with a oh reversal. Daryl Irish whip. There goes Bruce out to the floor. Oh, snap soup, snap German. And it's over. Kobayashi with the snap German suplex into a bridge out of nowhere. Let's take a look back at some of that great action. Here's Bruce saying we don't need to go extreme tonight, even though he just whipped both men with the kendo stick. He made sure he was the last one to use it. But Kobayashi was quick to not let it go down. Here's that trouble in paradise from out of nowhere. That took Bruce out of the match for a second. Backside, oh, that backside bomb looks vicious. And there's the snap German into the bridge. Perfectly executed to get the one, two, three count. And Kobayashi comes out on top. This man does not get a future title shot. I don't know what he has to do to earn one. Great matchup we just witnessed. Kobayashi celebrates the hard-earned victory. Kobayashi pretty much dominated this entire matchup. All right, moving on. We are here with Revenge Championship Wrestling. The game uses WCW versus NWO or WCW NWO Revenge as the game platform. Here we see John B, who is the Goldberg, and the Superstar, who is the Alex Wright of this uh, pairing. They are the winningest tag team in RCW history. They have the best tag team record. Uh, RCW has been around since August of 2018. So, that is a good sign. As we see John B and the Superstar make their entrances. Superstar likes to dance. I think this is a brilliant concept idea to just change the game. Can't make creative wrestlers, honestly. Just change the game to make your own creative wrestlers. So their opponents here tonight are The Purist, who is the Stevie Ray, and Mr. Emulator, who is the uh, Scott Steiner outfit, in the green Scott Steiner outfit. Gotta love animals. Because this one has absolutely no sound, which is awesome. So you guys will look everything going on in the WVGU studios, which is a lot. There's a lot that goes on here. <laughs> So the Purist and Mr. Emulator made their tag team debut in the year in the RCW Tag Team Invitational Tournament. Uh, but John B. and the Superstar have been a team pretty much since the beginning of RCW. Oh, there's a spear by John B. He took out Mr. Emulator going for the ankle. 
Ooh, the purist slams the superstar. We're in our uh, we're in a tornado style tag match here, and the superstar is getting worked over now. John B slams Mr. Emulator into the corner. Ooh, right to the gut. Ooh, now he's going for the choke. Another backdrop on the superstar. He's going down quick. The purist stand on top of that. Ooh, he moves out of the way of the spin wheel kick. John B is not uh, letting Mr. Emulator get any kind of offense in either, ducking and dodging. Another Irish whip into the... Nope, stopped by the purist. Good move by the purist to get in the way of his partner. Uh-oh, combo by John B. Oh, the superstar. Ooh, nice. Head scissors, headlock, front face headlock takeover. Oh, reversal into a choke slam by Mr. Emulator. Oh, and the purist goes right to work on the side, or chin lock. As now Mr. Emulator turns to the Superstar. Ooh, European uppercut. Oh, what's the Superstar going here? Atomic drop by the Purist. Ooh, an STF. And the Purist doesn't even see it going on. He's busy with John B. Ooh, reversal. Ooh, kick to the gut. That spinning back kick is pretty devastating there by John B. But not devastating enough. Body slam by the Purist. And a leg drop, Hulk Hogan style. Oh, and another choke slam by Mr. Emulator. Oh, we have the good old knuckle lock. And there's a uh, John B wins that one. Mr. Emulator's got the superstar. Irish whipping in the corner. Oh, he's going over to the purist. But he does nothing to help. Oh, he grabs John B though. That's I guess that's something. Body slam. Stomps away. Leg drop stomp. I know a leg drop stomp is not possible, but, you know, it is what it is. The purist has got John B. The superstar has got Mr. Emulator. Irish whip into the ropes. Haluva kick into the corner. Hip toss out of the ropes. Everybody's getting whipped around. The superstar with a chin lock. John B. with a spine buster. Ooh, arm wrench. Ooh, nice roll through on all that, but that didn't help nothing into the arm slam. Wouldn't really know what to call it, like arm bar bomb, arm bar bomb? Call it arm bar bomb. Or would that be the reversal? The arm bar bomb. Small package by Mr. Emulator. And the purist is busted open. All right, we got some color. That's great. Oh, another choke slam. It's like the Ford choke slam. I've done nothing. Sidewalk slam by John B. Who, if I believe is correct, has his, uh, is the one with the special right now, but he's not capitalizing on it, but he's still pounding the crap out of the purist. Oh, Mr. Emulator finally makes the save. Mr. Emulator now turns his attention to John B. as the purist goes back to work on the superstar. I guess you get your advantages where you can. John B. says, I'm not done with the purist yet. The purist says, I'm done with you. Inverted atomic drop and an atomic drop by Mr. Emulator. They're back in control now. All oh, the purist dumps the superstar out on the floor. I don't think this is the time to pose, and that's exactly why you shouldn't have been posing. Sidewalk slam by John B. Goes for the cover. Oh, a long two count there. Surprised the emul Mr. Emulator didn't try to break that up. Clubbing blow onto the superstar. John B. and the purists kind of work their way away from the group. Irish whip to the corner hard. Oh, there's a running shoulder block into the corner. Nope, nope. Reverse, nope. Blockage. I don't know what's going on. Reversal by John B. The superstar has not hit that spinning wheel kick one time. And uh, John B. is definitely imploring the ground and pound game. Reverse, or blocked by uh, the superstar. Oh, nice right hand. Now he's got control as the purist keeps trying to fight back against John B, but he's, John B is just not having it. Ooh, European uppercut. 
John B. grabs the rope. Not having that either. Double go behind. Oh! The Mr. Mr. Emulator with a nice back suplex with that clothesline from John B. to the back of the, the purest. The purest is hurting. He's, he's, he's on the verge of Dunzo. And here comes the seventh choke slam. Bam! Down goes the superstar. Ah, oh, but this time he's going for a cover. The purist is brought back in the hard way. Oh, and I kick out at two. Definitely thought that was going to be close there after that choke. Right in the middle of the ring, the choke slam. Going first. Nope. Mr. Emulator blocks the suplex. Down goes the superstar. Going for a cover again. Small package by the purist. Oh, only a two count. Definitely thought that was going to be the one. Ooh, nice knee lift by John B. Doing his little posing. The superstar goes up to the top. Oh, Mr. Emulator caught him. Oh. Double, double axe handle to the back by the superstar. Oh, that's mocking him right there. Dancing while he's woozy behind him. Superstar's pretty confident, but he's in the way. He's got people in the way. Mr. Emulator's now turned his attention, it looks like, to the Superstar, and he has DDT. Oh, John B. breaks up the two count. Uh-oh, another knuckle lock. What's going to be the outcome of this one? The Purist is just standing there. The Superstar is just standing there. They're, they're intensely intrigued by this knuckle lock. That was once again won by John B. So he's 2-0 in knuckle locks in this match. Oh, right to the back of the head. Oh, he's going for the cover. John B. doesn't see it. Oh, kick out. Ooh, face first into the turnbuckle. Ooh, but John B. says, I'm not done yet. Going to work on the ankle. You can find uh, Revenge Championship Wrestling on the WBGU Amino and the WBGU YouTube channel. And no, only a two count on the purest. I thought the superstar had him there. Giving me a, giving out a shameless plug. I uh, missed the action there. Side rush and leg sweep by Mr. Emulator. On the John B. The purest is now taking a European uppercut. The, oh, is a gurry. Superstar stomping away. Emulator's got John B from behind. Oh, the back suplex. The Pierce grabs the superstar. Oh, look, flips his flips the twists. Oh, nice reversal. Oh, John B goes all the way out of the ring. Uh oh, the superstar looks poised and ready. German suplex with a bridge. Pump handle by John B. There's the three count. And it's over. John B. and the Superstar make easy work of the Purist and Mr. Emulator. Let's be honest about it. They put up somewhat of a fight, but it was mostly John B. and the Superstar. Especially John B. going to work. He destroyed everybody. All right, and our next matchup is a... Presentation from Wrestling Video Game Pro that uses WWE 13 as their platform. They were created in February 26th of 2018, which means out of the five here today, they are the longest tenured uh, league. And coming to the ring first, we have Hunter James who is the current WVG Pro Extreme Champion, but they decided to tell him to just leave the belt at home today and to just come out and be yourself. Don't worry about the belt. Don't worry about any defending, anything like that. Just go out there and showcase your talent in a triple threat steel cage match. As 
We see Hunter James finishing his entrance. The young upstart, a part of several leagues. The first opponent. DRG. I have no idea what the DRG stands for. I was not given any information on that. I was just told his name is DRG. So that is what we're going with. He looks poised and ready for action in the big blue steel cage. I love the fact that it's the blue steel cage. All right, and the last opponent coming to the ring. Paul Black. The Enigma, Paul Black. He is the relative newcomer to WVG Pro. Uh, I believe DRG would be second in that. And then Hunter James is the longest tenured member of this threesome when it comes to WVG Pro. Uh, they can also be found on the WVGU Amino and the WVGU YouTube channel. Can't wait to see what action this holds. Right, here we go. Let's ring. There we go. There's that bell ring. Now, I was informed before we get into the action that they were not able to turn WWE's 13 commentary off. I uh, actually went in there and checked myself and could not find a way to turn it off. So if anybody has a way to turn the commentary off with still keeping the other sounds on there, that'd be great help. But uh, let's get right to the action, shall we? Ooh, we got double team action already. Ooh, double super kicks. Oh! Hunter James is getting worked over early by DRG and Paul Black. If you haven't done it yet. Paul Black with the... Ooh! Forearm, or back elbow smash right to the face. They are deciding that the double team on Hunter James is the smartest move. Power slam! Oh, right now he's working the arm. DRG is just letting this action go. Reversal by Hunter James. Reversal by Paul Black. It's just reversal after reversal after reversal. Irish whip into the corner. Ooh. Look, DRG's smart. He's trying to make a break for it. Oh, Paul Black. No, reversal. He stopped him. There goes DRG's trying to escape. Oh, and he's pulled back in the hard way. Side headlock by Paul Black. All reversals. Stand still. Ooh, running neck breaker. Hunter did not see that coming. Ooh, nice elbow by Paul Black as well. And DRG's finally getting into the action, and he's paying for it as Paul Black. Oh, no, another reversals. More reversals. Irish whip into the corner. Ooh, running into the shoulder block there. Going for here. We're going to see a superplex. We're going to see a super duperplex. Nice. 
Hunter grabs DRG in a side headlock. Nice vertical suplex. DRG's in trouble, leaned up against the ropes. Paul Black, ooh, block, or throwback right there, nice. Ooh, Hunter reverses it, side rush of leg sweep. Hunter still going to work. Ooh, high angled back suplex. Down goes Paul Black. Another side Russian leg sweep. Trying to work over that back of Paul Black. Hunter with some reversing going on. Irish, ooh, right into DRG, nice move. And then, oh, but Paul Black was prepared for that. Going to work on the, oh, not another elbow to the face. Ooh, and he caught DRG in a hip toss. Did not think Paul Black seen DRG coming. They lock up. Paul Black has been on the offense for, it seems like, most of this matchup. As we get into the... Oh, that German suplex rocked him. Irish whip into the corner. Foo, follows him in with a clothesline. Now Hunter going to work on the arm, a little payback from earlier. Paul Black pushes off DRG, but gets grabbed by Hunter James. Atomic drop. Gotta love that atomic drop. Oh, he's got DRG now. Another vertical suplex. Ooh, and a backbreaker by Hunter James. Nice move. DRG looks to be in trouble here. Paul Black now going to join the fight. Kick to the gut. Oh, but DRG grabbed him. Paul Black looked at Hunter for a second, and it cost him. As DRG does his own vertical suplex. Nice. Nice. Just very nice vertical suplex. Hunter James backing up. Oh, nope. Caught. Reversal by D. Nice. Swinging neck breaker. Caught him coming in there. DRG's got. Oh, kicks to the face of Paul Black. Irish whip into the corner. Bulldog by Hunter James. He caught him. He was waiting for him. Oh, and a knee to the face. DRG reverses it. Paul Black goes down from the side rush and leg sweep again. Oh, DRG didn't see Hunter from behind, and there's a side rush and leg sweep of his own. What's Hunter going for here? Off the ropes, letting him know how he feels. He's got Paul Black now. Up oh, reversal. Side front face lock reversal. Get off me, son. That's what we're going to start calling that. The get off me, son. Go behind with the hammer lock. He's got DRG up F5. Oh, no. He killed him with the F5. Hunter's going out. Paul Black doesn't see him leaving. Oh, yes, he does. And he brings... Oh, he brings Hunter back in the hard way. Ooh, the nice move by Paul Black, but he picked DRG right back up. Elbow and a Russian leg sweep. I think there's a difference. Nope, reversals. Ooh, barely got him up on that one. Back body drop by Hunter James. Hunter's going out the cage. But here comes, oh, DRG pulls him back in. Oh, gut wrench suplex. Going to work on the arm. Nip up. Smell a comeback coming by DRG maybe. Ooh, Hunter blocks it. Hunter's getting up there. DRG and Paul Black are going back and forth. 
Hunter's gonna escape the cage. It's good. What the glitch? Oh, DRG made it up there. DRG made it up there. And they German soul. Right off the top of the cage. Brought it back in the heart. Well, Hunter said, I'm not going right back up there, bro. Don't even trip. <clears throat> oh, but Paul Black pulls him back in. Bulldog by Hunter. Hunter's going up again. Hunter's trying to get out of this cage match. Oh, down goes Hunter again. <laughs> DDT by DRG. Now they're going to work on Paul Black. Turns his attention to DRG. That doesn't work out. Reversal. Oh, can't climb the cage if you only got one leg. Smart move. But he picked him right up. DRG. Oh, Paul Black with a reverse. DDT. That was pretty creative. Did not expect that out of him. And look, Hunter's now going to work on both man's legs. He knows I hurt your legs. You can't really put your feet anywhere to climb up that cage. Oh, but he eats a German. It's half German. Oh, kick to the back too. Oh, DRG just got busted open. DDT. Hunter's getting a little excited there. Oh, European uppercut. DDT. Oh, Paul Black is busted open. Bleeding all over the place. Gun red suplex on DRG. And a pile driver on Paul Black. Hunter's turning up the heat. Oh, DRG blocked it. Paul Black from behind on Hunter. But he focuses on DRG, pulls him down. Oh, Paul Black finally making his way up the cage. A little too soon for that, though. Ooh, double kicks. We've seen this earlier with Hunter being the recipient. Now Paul Black is. Side headlock. Kicks. Ooh, now Hunter's busted open. Everybody's got a little color going on. DRG puts Hunter up on the top rope. We're going to see another super duper flex. Yes, we are. Oh, down goes Hunter. DRG trying to get Paul Black down. There's a side Russian leg sweep. I think it's all about if you hook the arm or not. Oh, oh, Sister Abigail. Uh oh. Too many reversals going on. DRG's climbing that cage. Paul Black's missing it. He's not going to get him. Is he going to pull him off? DRG's trying to hold on. No. Oh, down they both come. Oh, break of the ice by Paul Black. Hunter moved. Nope, Paul Black reverses. Oh, there's that reverse DDT move. Irish whip into the corner. Hunter James has got him up. What's he gonna do? Snake eyes. Oh, the leg place lariat by DRG. What a team move. Here comes. Oh, Hunter says no, not today, son. Oh, he does it again. Hunter fought him off twice. And DRG pulls him down. It's not going to be that easy to get out of the cage, especially with these three athletes. Oh, nice back suplex. 
DRG did not even want to take the opportunity. He wants to add more damage. Body slam. Leg drop. Goes right over to Hunter. Ooh, but Hunter came out on top on that one. No. Reversal by DRG. Paul Black has him. Oh, double gut buster. Hunter's climbing the cage. Hunter's out. Hunter got up to the, he's going down. They don't even see it. They're still fighting. And Hunter James escapes the cage to get the victory. Take a look at these replays. There's that backdrop. DRG. There's where Hunter got busted open. Here's the double gut buster. Bam! Right before the end of the match. As Hunter, as they are Paul Black, DDT. He didn't see Hunter climbing the cage as he was trying to put away DRG until it was too little too late. Hunter James comes out on top. What an exciting cage match. All right, now we as we prepare for tonight's main event. It is, it got messed up somehow, so we're just gonna rewind it because that's what we do here. So we have the United Force Wrestling and is that a WVGU logo? Nice. Mad props to United Force Wrestling for using a WVG logo. That's pretty awesome. All right, we have what has been described as Ladder War 3 for the UFW World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first Ryan Silver. He is making his way to the ring. As UFW is on the road to Armageddon, I believe, from what it says down there. I was not given any back information on anything other than regarding towards this match. It is a five-way. There are two former champions, world champions, in this matchup trying to win the belt back. Or trying to win the belt. I'm not even 100% on who the champion is. If there is a champion or if this is for a vacated title or not. But we will find out as Ryan Silver has made his way to the ring. Awaiting the next opponent. Dave England. Nice. Love the pyro. Gotta love pyro. He's a beefy looking guy. We're not gonna make a comment on the back of his jacket. We're just gonna let that be. That's the thing nowadays, so we'll just let that go. Back in my day, it was NWO, so I guess I can't really complain too much.
Dave England. I wonder what the backstory is on that eye patch. The next man to make his way to the ring. We cannot see anything right now. We have Sandman levels of entrance. Double M. He got a bat with him? He does. Looks like the Punisher. He is one of the former world champions in this matchup. I like his music. Five men. This is going to be a challenge for me by myself trying to keep track of all this action and getting the names right. But we're going to make it work. We're going to get it done because this is the WVGU and it's the Super, 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 Super Showcase. I ah, see it says the Punisher on the back of him. So. A uh, semi, right? Gotta love notifications. Kid Draven is next. Came in on his on his motorbike. I like his theme music as well. Wonder what the meaning is behind the uh, tattoo. Kind of a weird tattoo. Kid Draven. I like his music. And here we go with the last participant, the other former world champion of the United Force Wrestling. Pete Price. He's a pretty boy. He looks cocky, he looks arrogant. His music also probably fits his personality. Price. So this is definitely going to be one for the ages. Ladder Wars 3 for the UFW World Championship. You can see the belt hanging high above.
All right. Here we go. For the UFW World Championship title. Oh, we're underway early. Price, as, and I, I knew it, the cocky, cocky mofo that he was, he was literally posing on the turnbuckle while everyone else started wrestling. I don't even know what he's doing. He's just walking around the ring as everybody else fights. Double M, Irish whips kid into the corner and is going to work on him. Now Dave's posting. Ooh, sunset flip. And no use in a ladder match. Price literally just is walking around the ring, not doing anything. England has now exited the ring as Double M is posing away. Oh, now Price grabs the, the ladder. But Double M, oh, took that right into the face. Ooh, clothesline by Dave England. Dave England going to work on Kid Draven now after taking down Ryan Silver. Oh, Double M and Price are fighting on the floor. The two former champs. Down goes, ooh, Kid Drape. Well, Ryan Silver's back up, going to work on Dave England now. Double M rolled back into the ring. Price has got a table, but he doesn't want that. He gets back into the ring. He grabs Double M, DDT. Dave England exits the ring again, kinda. Okay, he's got, oh, he wants the table. Why not? Let's get it cracking. Dave England. Oh, Tiger suplex onto Price. Oh, he moved. Oh, and then eats the ladder as Double M nails Ryan with the table again, third time. Kid Draven, oh, and he got cracked by the table. Silver rolls out of the ring. Price gets back into the ring. Double M. Oh, no, blocked by uh, Kid Draven. Nope. Reversal. Oh, he's backdropped right onto the ladder. Double M knocked off the apron. Oh, reversal by Price. Pete's looking to return the favor. No, oh, he just missed the ladder with that DDT. Thank goodness. Dame England might have been dead after that. I don't care how big you are. You take a DDT onto a ladder, you're probably done for. Oh, his leg hit the ladder again. Price trying to fight England and then gets whacked with the ladder. England's got the ladder. He nailed Ryan Silver, who was on the top rope. Draven, oh, he eats a super kick. Oh, and then England eats a drop kick from Silver. Double M throws uh, Kid Draven out, but then goes out after him. Silver has England down. Kid or Pete Price is still on the floor. He's finally making his way back up to his feet, and it looks like Ryan Silver was well. He was thinking about it. Down goes, and that's why you should have went for it and not thought about it. Oh, down goes the ladder, spinning head scissors. Kid Draven's back into the matchup. Price has got the ladder now. He misses, throws the ladder down, doesn't want it. Oh, Famouser by Kid Draven. There goes the table. Double M goes down by Kid Draven. Nope. I'm going to grab the ladder. He's going to hit somebody with it. Nobody with it. He's going to open it up. We might see the first attempt at the top. Oh, down goes the ladder again. Oh, multiple clotheslines. Oh, he flew halfway across the ring. Oh. Nice by Kid Draven. Dave England gets back into the ring, though. He didn't like any of that. Oh, but he eats the ladder. He didn't have a choice. Right into the knee again. I think Kid's going to go for it. Nope. Ryan Silver? Nope. Nobody has went up the ladder yet. Oh! 
Double M with a high knee. Kid Draven kicks the... Oh, kid, there he goes. He's quickly up the ladder. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, double M. Double M. Double M. Uh-oh. Oh, cut her off the... Cut her off the top of the ladder. He drop kicked the... The ladder. Ryan Silver over the top rope out to the floor. Nope, reversal again. You are not pile driver and that big old boy. I don't care who you think you are. Pete Price. Double M. There goes England out to the floor. This is Double M's shot. Sets the ladder up. He runs up the ladder. He's going, to, he's going for the bell. He's got it. And there goes the ladder. Pete Price. Smartly pushes the ladder out of the way. Oh, an electric chair. Drop kick by Kid under Ryan Silver. Kid goes for the Kid Draven's got the ladder again. Price just nailed England with that table. Kid's going up the ladder. He's got it. There's Price. And there's Ryan Silver. Price quickly jumps down. He said, no, not today. I'll do this with you, buddy. Come on. And there go. Oh. Kid Draven goes down hard. Price exits the ring again. I think that was just to lure Ryan Silver out. But he throws him back in. Double M finally getting up to his feet. Dave England working over Kid Draven in the ring. What is Pete going to do here? Nope, blocked by Double M. Blocked by Pete Price. Dave England's got a chair now. What's Kid Icarus? What's Kid Draven going to do? Oh, did he deal on the apron? Nice move by Pete Price. The ladder's now out of the ring. Oh, he's stacking tables. I don't even want to know what he's got planned for the double tables. But Double M doesn't want to find out either. Ryan Silver's down. England takes the ladder from Draven. Draven takes it back. Oh, and nails England in the face with it. What a matchup. Oh, down goes the chair. Nope, missed Kid. Kid Draven quickly got out of the ring. Close line, there goes Double M out to the floor. Oh, this was, uh, that was Pete's chance right there, and he, he blew it. Oh, but he nailed Sean Spears style with the outsider's edge on the floor by Dave England. Pete Price is, uh-oh, got Steiner style. Bully bad booty daddy. Cody, oh. England's going back in. England's going up. He's holding him there now. He's holding him there. Electric chair. Drop. Ryan Silver got out of that. Blocked by Silver again. Close line. Kid Draven goes over the top rope. Oh, down goes Pete. Double M needs to go for the title and he's not. Stolen by Pete. Oh, down goes Double M. Well, I think Pete's gonna go for it. Nope, he knew better. Here comes Draven. He goes back out. Smart move. Up goes Ryan. Finally. All right, here we go. Oh, the replay. What replay? We haven't seen no replay. Oh! Oh, we knew there was a replay coming. Bam! Bam! 
Bam! With the neck breaker. Can Pete get up though? England's getting back up. Draven's getting back up. Pete's getting back up. Pete gets clothesline out of the ring. Draven's going up the ladder. Or England, sorry. England's got it. And there, oh, oh. Dra oh, England is not. He says, dude, it takes more than that, boy. Get out of here. England's going back for the belt. Pete Price is trying to push it over, but England's at least halfway there. Oh, there goes the ladder. Ooh, power bomb this time. What's Dumble M? Double M going for Oh, he took him out. Pete's not going up to the the ladder though. Ah, uh, you seen Kid Draven get back in the ring. What's he gonna do here? Oh, he's gonna power bomb through the double tables. Oh, he missed the dang. He missed the double tables. England back up the ladder. We got a dome light in our way. England's fighting Price. Oh, he's got him up. Price is trying to reverse it. He's on it. She's going to dump him. Down goes Price. England still was on the ladder, though. Double M rolls out. Silver's back in the ring. Price reverses. Oh, but he got caught by England. Power bomb. Sit out power bomb. And the, oh, the last ride sit out power bomb by Dave England. Oh no, through the double tables. Through the double tables. Ryan Silver just said, kid, Draven sent it off the apron into both tables. Yes, Dave England is, or yes, Dave England is back up on top of the ladder, and he is going for it. I don't know how Kid Draven is still alive after taking that bump through two tables off the apron, but he's fighting Dave England. This man is superhuman. Dave England falls and he lands on Price. England fell and he landed on Price. Oh, oh, he hit him again. Oh, he hit him again. Everybody's back up. They're both trying to push the ladder over and hit him at the same time. <coughs> this is anyone's matchup, folks. This is intense action. What a main event. Double M with the ladder. Price has got the table again. Another table. Double M's up there. Oh, that's, he's, he, Price can't push it over. Does it, yeah, there's only, it's only going to take two more. I have a feeling the next person that gets a clear, clear path up the ladder has the best opportunity to get their hands on the championship right now. And that could be Kid Draven. As Kid Draven, oh no, he jams it into the side knee of, uh, what is Dave England doing? He shouldn't have been doing that. Oh, no! Ryan Silver brings a table into the ring. But he goes back out to fight with Price. England's getting trying to get back up to his feet. Double M's getting back up. Ooh, neck breaker slam. Double M climbs the ladder out of nowhere! Oh, Draven quickly gets him to let go of the title. England's back up on his feet. They're both battling it out. What's going on here? Is he gonna, oh, he's doing some squats. P 
feet. Bryce has got Ryan Silver in a compromising position. Suplex onto the floor. Down goes Double M and Kid Draven off the ladder. Double M got the better of that exchange. Oh, there we go. He's got another ladder. Holy crap, he's got that one bridged on the apron. From the ring to the guardrail. Oh, Kid Silver, right? Sil oh, no. No, no, Ryan Silver. Power Bob through the ladder table bridge set up. Holy crap. Ryan Silver is dead. That's it, he's done for. Double M gets tossed out. Dave England going back up the ladder again. Price can't seem to get up there. But he can hit Dave England. England let go of the belt. Kid Draven runs up the ladder. What is Price doing? He's going to the top. Code breaker. Missile drop kick missed. Down goes double and Ryan Silver and back up. The action is everywhere. I don't know how Ryan Silver's still walking around. Double M better take that opportunity. He does. Here we go. Okay, back to the action. I'm sorry about all this. Oh, there it goes. Double M off the ladder. As we got Kid Draven. Everybody's back into the ring. Double M's down. The ladder's back up. Oh, Dave England with another shot. There goes Kid Draven. He's out. Price escapes the ring again. Oh, down goes Ryan Silver. Double M shouldn't have been posing. Because Ryan Silver's out of the ring. Kid Draven's out of the ring. Price has got the ladder now. Down goes Dave England. Price setting up the ladder. Oh, and he nails England. England getting right back up, though. He grabs Price and throws him out. Price is not having that. Double M gets thrown out. Knock his ass off the apron. No, then. Oh, he got caught by a cutter. But Price is already up the ladder. The the winner, the there's a technical difficulty in the back, but we got it taken care of as Pete Price has grabbed the championship and has became a two-time UFW world champion. So much action going on in this matchup. It is hard to keep track of all of it. As you see recaps of some of the best moments. There's a couple of cutters, some super kicks. A razor's edge right onto the stairs. Oh my goodness. Here is your winner and the new United Force Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. Pete Price. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This has been the WVGU saying so long and catch you on the next one.